times have changed for now a specialist an ace in its field is often trounced by a jack a jack of all trades well hello so what is happening these days in the vlogging community a challenge a challenge in which you have to state 10 bad things about your bike and then you tag two more of your own friends who will then state 10 bad thing about their bike and in this way this chain goes on and on so this challenge indirectly gives me an opportunity to make a full user review of my bike the pulsar 200 as as in the adventure sports i've uh, been using this uh, from the past five six months and i have done around uh, 6500 on the auto uh, but you know what we should talk about the good things that this bike has to offer first before we just start to do the nitpicking just for the sake of completing the challenge so let's get on with it so first let's talk about the looks because in india our brethren relies more on their eyes than anything else uh, so how does it look sexy ain't it and trust me it is very important to have a good looking bike in india you know why because before owning this bike i had a honda dazzler and only i know how much humiliation i had to face just because of its quirky looks I mean yeah I know looks are subjective and it shouldn't matter to you what others say but honestly it does hurt you when somebody else calls your bike ugly that does hurt you deep down trust me on this one okay so moving on as far as the performance is concerned this Pulsar 200 AS has a powerful and punchy engine. Of course, it's not like the KTM, but if suppose uh, you took a turn in second gear and shifted to third, and suddenly you see an open stretch of tarmac for the next 800 meter, you can flog the throttle in third gear itself until you hit the red line of 9.2k RPM, and trust me, it'll give you a white grin on your face inside the helmet. Actually, this bike has it all. This well-directed windscreen that you see here, see, it provides exceptional wind protection by deflecting the wind. See, I tell you, now normally what happens is you get a naked bike and then you have to roam around a lot for getting the right accessories for that naked bike. I mean, uh, you start searching for aftermarket windscreen, you have to actually, you have to, uh, what, fabricate it and then you have to put it properly. In the proper direction and the proper angle to uh, provide you maximum wind protection I'm, uh, and then you go for uh, projector headlamps without proper wiring and eventually you end up screwing up your electricals on the other hand this pulsar 200 as offers you a complete package instead now let us talk about the seating position uh, it is nice and uptight i mean uh, nice and upright and uh, even though the foot pegs are front set, they provide you enough lean to enjoy on twisties. Now that's a big plus. I mean you are getting comfortable seating position in which you can corner easily. What more do you want? Huh? Now let us talk about the brakes. They are precise. They provide you awesome feel and feedback. I mean I know uh, even though there are no steel bread lines like the 220s used to have uh, but it does provide you good feel and feedback i mean the bite is not that much but it's enough and uh, the good thing is that it provides you very good feedback so that you can stop in unexpected condition on time now let us talk about the fuel economy of this bike the famous question that every indian asks kitna deti hai so even after your redlining and in-gear ripping it manages to shell out a fuel economy of 38 to 40 kmpl every single time i mean what more do you expect okay so this video is getting stretched for without any reason so let's wear our nitpicking glasses and state the 10 things that i hate about my bike so here is point number one these euro grip tires i mean look at them i mean oh my god they can scare the shit out of you at times 
बट यू नो द सरप्राइजिंग थिंग इज दैट द ग्रिप वेल ऑन वेट सफेसिस एक्चुअली दे आर मेड टू रन फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम विदाउट गेटिंग पंचर्ड एंड ऑल बट ओवरऑल द ग्रिप इज नॉट दैट ग्रेट सो पॉइंट नंबर टू द वाइब्रेशन फ्रॉम द सेमी फेयरिंग आई मीन दे किक इन बिटवीन फोर थाउजेंड टू फाइव थाउजेंड आर पी एम इन एवरी गियर एंड इवेंचुअली वेनिशेज आफ्टर दैट आई मीन देर इज नो वाइब्रेशन आफ्टर सिक्स थाउजेंड आर पी एम अंडल यू हिट द रूफ द रेड लाइन दर इज नॉट इवन अ सिंगल वाइब्रेशन बट दे डू मेक देयर प्रेजेंस फेल्ट बिटवीन फोर थाउजेंड टू फाइव थाउजेंड आर पी एम वाइल यू आर पटरिंग इन द सिटी नाउ दैट कैन गेट रियली अनोइंग समटाइम्स Then comes the Bajaj ka famous clunky gearbox. Although this six-speed gearbox feels slick until the time you get stuck in the traffic. That is when the gears start getting stuck when you are continuously shifting between first and second gear. But I guess that's common in every bike. So, point number five: the suspensions. It has a three-step adjustable monoshock in the rear, which is set up on the firmer side, which gives uh, immense confidence to the rider, but is a nightmare for the pillion rider, because every single bump on the road is transferred to the pillion rider's tushy without much filtering. Now, I know that hurts a lot, you know. Moving on to point number six, the sixth bad thing about my bike is this rock-solid pillion seat. Now, as you can see, I added some extra foam into it, uh, but it actually made it even worse, since the seat height now got increased, because of which the pillion rider now have to bend onto me, which gives him neck pain due to the weight of his helmet. Point number seven: the maneuverability, the maneuverability in the traffic. Yeah, so bef- because of the high seat height and the semi fairing it is little tough to maneuver in the tight traffic conditions just now i realized that i messed up the numbering anyways it doesn't matter so so point number 8 the fueling uh, it is a little snatchy but still the best you'll find on pulsars uh moving on to the point number 8 the fit and finish i mean you can easily see panel gaps here and there and uh, that's where the vibrations actually come from shit 8 point over bol diya never mind so moving on to the point number 9 let us have a look at this rear mudguard it is a glaring anomaly which otherwise would have been a perfect looking tail section i mean personally i'm not a big fan of the tail tidies cause it splashes a lot of nalika pani on your back so i'm okay with this stock version of this mudguard phew okay last point the stock rvms they suddenly start feeling useless when you switch from riding solo to riding with a pillion on so that's it guys uh if any of your friend is interested in buying a pulsar 200 as do show him this video it will definitely help him Okay then enough of YouTube for today this is info clone signing off ciao chalo apne apne ghar jao ghar ja ke vada pao kha see ya do like share and subscribe to info clone